Hey baby bears, it's Handyman Clarence here, and we're back. But just to let you know, I do not know what I'm doing. I am not an expert. I'm just a homeowner trying to save $3,000 from just doing a shower insert, okay? That's not even a whole bathroom. That's just a shower, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Highway fucking robbery. And we were going to buy the tub. Let me add that too. We were buying the tub. We just wanted them to take out the old one and put in the new one. And they were going to try to throw that. Absolutely the fuck not. I will not. I will not be robbed like that. So, handyman clearance it is. All right, y'all, we are back. Welcome to Putting Up With The Pom Pons YouTube channel. So this is a handyman clearance series, which is pretty much me doing home remodels, knowing absolutely nothing about what I am doing. So in the last video, which is our part one, I had demoed the shower kit that was in this nice little nook right now. And now we are fighting with putting the new one in. Now I did take measurements. I promise you I took measurements and it said it was supposed to fit. And when I removed the old tub, I even took measurements to make sure that the new tub we purchased was going to fit. And as you can see, we are having issues, people. We are having up problems okay so my house is 30 years old this is not a brand speaking new house it definitely has settled in did all it wanted to do in its 30 years of living right and uh, the walls could have swelled the wood could have swelled i don't know what it is but the previous tub that was in here of course is not even made of the same material that the new tub is made of the new tub is made out of acrylic and the old one was like this old like fiberglass i guess and it was one unit so the new unit that we are putting in comes with the tub set and then its own separate wall pieces that we all ha we have to install separately individually right so we finally pushed it in and this was just the dry fit so you can already see how this is going to go as far as the the rest of this video yeah it's going to be a struggle now, as we are making our way through this, I'm not even gonna call this a tutorial. This is just a video of you witnessing and you listening to my commentary on what not to do when it comes to home remodels. Because as a disclaimer gave you, I don't know what I'm doing. But of course, at the end of the video, I will give you a nice little budget of how much money we spent to get this done. All right, y'all, so a quick rundown of what I got going on right now because this shit is hectic, all right? So, um, and we're working on the tub right now. We're trying to get the tub in. But the struggle is that plumbing sucks. Okay, that's the struggle. So what we did was we bought a draining kit because our old one doesn't fit the new tub. So this is what we purchased from Lowe's. But we're missing the piece to connect this pipe to our current our current PVC drain pipe. This is all where the water drains from, right? So again, we have no fucking clue what we're doing. We're just like going through the fucking motions right now. It's exhausting right now and I'm tired of making my trip to Lowe's, but here we are. So, so here is the new drain pipe that we have going on. The other one was a little too short. Um, there is the PVC pipe that we are going to be connecting this pipe to. We're missing the piece to connect this pipe to that pipe. I have the glue and the primer. I just missed them in the piece. So I went ahead and dry fitted to make sure this would fit correctly. So it fits in our overflow hole and this is the drain hole. So as you can see, it's a perfect match, right? And we're going to make this work though, but... I feel like I'm driving my husband crazy and I feel bad, so. But yeah, this is what we got so far. Like, <sighs> yeah. So as you can tell, I am totally exhausted. I spent two, three days on this tub trying to get the drain pipe to work, cried my eyes out. My husband finally just broke down, it's like hire a plumber. So we did and spent $800 just for them to connect our drain pipe and install the tub piece. They didn't even do the walls. That was just for the tub piece. So I now have a new respect for plumbers. So since my husband has a little bit of experience in electrical work, what we are doing here is moving the light switch over because my new cabinet that I want to put in is going to end up blocking the light switch and I want my cabinet to be able to be flush to the wall. Hey, 
Right, so here is the sink. I'm sorry, I should have moved this out. So this is where my pantry will be. 24 inch sink will be right here. As you can see, they shifted my pipe and drain pipe all to the left. It was sitting like right here in this general area and they had to move it over so that my 24 inch will now have access to all that. Here's my giant 18 by 84 by 24 pantry cabinet that I purchased from Lowe's. It's in white, but we're painting that. Um, and here's the tub finally installed. Um, let me zoom in for you guys. So yeah, he removed a couple of studs in order to get it in there. There was a stud right here that they removed. I'm a little iffy about it. I mean, it's not shaky. I've been like tugging at it and everything is leveled. I even checked, but he only was able to screw in down there at the bottom and he didn't screw up there. Um, so that part kind of has me a little shaky. I'm gonna see how it is as I, you know, dry fit the walls. Cause now we're about to install the three wall kit. The back side and this left side should be easy to install. The only one that I'm really concerned with is trying to install these. So, um, so yeah, everything is installed. They installed it, uh, some screws there. On each stud, there is a screw. And that's pretty much the idea that I'll be doing for my walls when installing them. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here. But in the next video, we will be installing the shower walls for the bathroom kit. And of course, I said I was gonna put the budget at the end for everything that was needed for just this portion of uh, me remodeling the bathroom. I will have all of these items linked down below in our description box. And some of these items can also be purchased off of our Amazon storefront. And of course, when you buy items off of our Amazon, it helps build our channel for more of these episodes of me tearing up my house. But thank you guys for joining us on another Handyman Clarence, What Not To Do. And we will see y'all next week for part three where hopefully I will be installing my shower walls and moving on to the next part of this bathroom renovation. Be blessed and be safe.